Okay, so we got, this is just a couple of them. We've got lots that we've got to go through. Hey guys, it's Heather. Today we're doing an Amazon haul. Let's just get into it. I'm, we're cutting out all the, the funniness. We don't, we're not, we're not being funny today. We're being like dead serious. Well, we're off to a great start. I started chit-chatting with you guys and I wasn't even recording. <laughs> My chair's back to squeaking. We need to get into this. Forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. There we go. Do Not Disturb is on. We're ready to go. How are you guys doing? You guys, hey, Amazon haul. My hands are dry. I have no rings. My gosh, I'm off to a great start. Excuse me why I put lotion on. So if you guys have nails and you do a lot of lotion, well, lotion can dull it down. Um, but putting rubbing alcohol like on a cotton spot right over your nails makes them all shiny should we do that extra step because I have rubbing alcohol down here I'm gonna do it just doing one little swipe to clean that lotion off see and then we're just back to being shiny I don't know you guys probably can't tell you're like yeah that's great Heather that's great and then I'm like see I taught you something and you're like, <laughs> and I'm like, thanks guys. A little Heather knowledge. I'm loving it. I think we should put it on a shirt. Heather knowledge. Okay, so you guys, hey, Amazon, you guys, I don't think we've done an Amazon one in a while. They're the job security out here for UPS. It's pretty solid. They're coming here all the time. But anyway, I just thought I would show you some of my recent finds and some of my my things that I just have on auto ship. Whether you're looking to buy something or you're just being nosy and you want to see what Heather bought. I, I don't, I'm not here to judge. And you shouldn't either. If you're here to judge me, I'm all for it. Go ahead. Okay. Anyway, okay, so there is this this fry pan. You have to buy this nonstick fry pan. So it all started with this one. You can see it's been well loved. Okay, so I've had this one I want to say at least a year. Okay. I don't like to spend a lot of money on fry pans because they always get ruined. Now I know they make like really nice nonstick. It ain't in the budget. Okay, it's not in the budget. This is in the budget and you are gonna be like so pleased, honestly. Like, I can't remember where I picked this thing up. I literally have no memory of where I got this, but I've had it for quite a while. It gets used every single day. Maybe FabFitFun. This could be a FabFitFun purchase, like forever ago. When you get those inexpensive ones from like Walmart, um, even when I treat them nice, we let them cool down naturally. You use like plastic on them or silicone. You never use metal. Even after doing that, after like two uses, it's no longer nonstick. I looked at the, the brand and I went on Amazon and I thought, I really love this. I wonder if I could just get like two more and have it be affordable. So I looked and they had them. Well, this is the eight inch. I've had this one. Okay, this is the one that I've had. It's an eight inch. This is the 10 inch. So I haven't opened this one yet, but um, okay, so this one, oh look, I love it when they like have cute insides of the box. It's the little things that get me excited. Okay, so this is a nice big one. Ooh, they're heavy too. So I got that one. What's that, what's that, what's that? That's a 12 inch. So I got the 12 and the 10 and I already had the eight. And then I'll have all of these Amazon things that I show you. I'll link them down below in the description. So then you can just like click on it and it just takes you right to the item. You don't have to like try and find it. All right, we're gonna shoot that over there. Here we go, big crash. Should we stick with kitchen stuff? 
we're gonna do the few little kitchen things that I have we're just gonna stick we're gonna stay on trend here and we're gonna do we're gonna do more kitchen stuff so these tiny little um, cookie sheets well sometimes I don't want to use like a really big cookie sheet for like one little thing just because I'm throwing it in there like maybe like two pieces of bread I'm just trying to like brown them up in the broiler I just want like a little one guys that's it and these are like super affordable 100% aluminum they're Nordic wear made in the USA maybe you buy that pre made cookie dough and you live by yourself or maybe you don't live by yourself and once everyone's asleep you want to go downstairs in the kitchen and just make a couple of cookies in the oven for yourself you just get a tiny little cookie sheet okay we're staying in the kitchen wait do you guys want to know how to be like a super awesome chef where everyone will think like oh nice Okay, I'm gonna give you two tips where you can up your spaghetti game and then this is my secret ingredient for everything else but anyway I'm gonna tell you something for your spaghetti sauce for all my people out there that make spaghetti sauce from a jar okay if you make spaghetti sauce from a jar I'm talking to you whatever brand that you get stop buying it and get Rouse R I think it's R A O S Rouse Rouse Rose Rouse it might be a little bit more expensive because normally like, like Prego or whatever jar of spaghetti sauce that you get, it's like two to three dollars, right? Well, this stuff's like six dollars and something. I'm telling you, get this mushroom and sausage one. I don't even like mushrooms. It's good. I like to do hamburger and then like Italian sausage, cook it with some seasonings, add my rouse, and then I do like a tiny little sh of pizza sauce. It makes it taste like so friggin' good. Like, Heather, are you a professional chef? <laughs> I think I might be. So you guys, if you haven't tried this stuff, it's so good. A little bottle of this is like 20 bucks, but you don't need much. It's black truffle infused olive oil. I'm telling you, you guys, they have like other ones too, I think, but this is the only one that I get. If you're cooking chicken or if you're making a steak, you drizzle a little bit of this on there. You don't need much. Like honestly, like don't let that price take. And I get a better deal because I get it on auto ship. So you can get it like at a cheaper price. I think I might be able to get it for like $16.74, something like that. But I get it. I have it come like every three months, like or every two months every three months like it doesn't come very often because like a little bit goes a long way but I'm telling you don't tell your family that you have this hide it in the cabinet like behind everything and then when you're making like chicken in the pan like maybe you got a whole bunch of chicken and it's all like cut up and you're like throwing your little spices in there grab that and go a little drizzle quick put the cap on there and get it back in the cabinet and then your family's gonna go, ooh, what did you do? That's nice. And be like, oh, I just threw some stuff in the pan. Why, do you like it? Is it good? Hmm. You're welcome. Also, smoked paprika and celery salt. Pick those things up too. Smoked paprika, not regular paprika. What are you doing? smoked paprika and celery salt okay just a couple more things that are like from the kitchen you guys know my collagen I do one scoop in my morning coffee I've talked about it before I get this on auto ship I started taking this for my joint health I have a bad hip um, I'm not even gonna bore you with that but I do have a lot of pain in my hip whatever so, um, and I'm getting older. <laughs> I just had a birthday. Okay, I had my birthday like last week. You guys want to know how old I am? I'm 49. I am now 49 years old. Darn proud of it. Age is just a number. Like, honestly, like, whatever. 
So what? You're almost 50. So what? You're almost 60. So what? You're almost 70. Like, who cares? It's just, it's just a friggin' number. So here, you guys want to hear something? <laughs> so, okay, I just turned 49. All right. So here's what I should tell people. Trust me. People be like, oh, Heather, how, oh, Heather, how old are you? Oh, I'm, um, I'm 57. You're 57? I'm like, yeah, why? You look so good for your age. Oh, <laughs> tell people you're older than you are. Embrace it. Tell people that you're older than you are. Because then people will be like, oh my gosh. What? Just add a few years. Depending on how brave you are. Maybe add 10. I should tell everyone, I'm 59. Why do I look good? Right? And then I've also had this on my channel. I even have like a little short video of how I make my chia jam. Keeps me regular. Keeps everything going. You gotta be, you gotta have a healthy tummy. You gotta keep everything regular. You gotta keep the party moving. Okay, so if you guys, chia seeds. These are the chia seeds that I get. I don't even know if I showed that in the video, the brand, but this is what I get. Again, this will all be linked below. So then the times where I use, um, I bought this before, this is on auto ship. Like, I think I get this, com this comes every two weeks. This I have once a month. And then this I have, I think it only comes like once every three months. Um, it's fry away. Um, it'll turn your oil in your pan, like if I'm making chicken cutlets, and I've got a pan that's got like this much, i got a big round pan, it's got like this much oil in it, okay? So I don't want to dump that in my dumpster. We have a dumpster, and it only gets picked up, like, whenever it's full, we call the garbage company, and they come and pick it up. They're on our property, they take the big dumpster, they put it in the back of the truck, they put our big dumpster down, and then they crush our trash in their truck on our property, okay? And then all of the trash, slime, and goo comes out and it gets all over our property. But my dog will go over and eat it. It's gross, okay? So my oil, I don't wanna just toss in the trash. Um, I'd like to like, congeal it so that's exactly what this stuff does it congeals it I have another Amazon video on my channel where I show this and I actually um, do a demonstration of it on how it works but basically it, they have a little scooper in here it's one scoop per cup of oil when your oil is hot you add one scoop so like when I'm done cooking, I just quick throw a couple of scoops of this in there. I just kind of like gauge it by, okay, it's about four cups of oil, so I'll do four scoops. As it cools, it solidifies and becomes a solid. So then I just take the solid and throw it in the trash. It's 100% plant-based, non-toxic. Like once you add this to your oil, you can't reuse your oil. So then it's like done. So you're just getting it ready for the trash with that. I love it. Oh, and then we have this on auto ship. It's my daughter's tea. This is what she uses is the Bigelow Perfect Peach. And then she like does her little concoction with it. Are you guys coffee or tea people? Let me know, comment below. I wanna know, are you coffee or tea? And if you do drink tea, like what do you drink and what do you put in it? I already know like what to put in coffee. We already had that discussion of everyone telling me what their favorite coffee drink is. Oh, I love a good coffee. I'm lightly into tea, not a lot. So like that's our kitchen stuff. So then I've got um, two cleaning things. This is on auto ship. It's Windex wipes. I get a lot of powder, a lot of um, like makeup, kind of gets all over. And I don't always need to use a Clorox wipe. I think this comes like every two months. I think I get one package. Like my mirror, um, I'll get like fingerprints or I'll like I'll get setting powders or stuff all over it. These are so convenient. Now, is this like cost effective? Is it cheaper to buy the spray bottle and then a roll of paper towels or a rag? Yeah, but 
I just, I don't use them that often. It's a space saver thing for me that I can just have this little thing just tucked away in the drawer. And when I need one, I can just pull one out. You know, it's just, right? The other cleaner thing I swear by, I might actually insert a little clip of how well this stuff works. Okay, so this is like a clean sink. The, the rust stains that come from our well water, it gets really dingy, so I'll show you. But I just wanna show you really quick. You see, like it instantly like gets it. You don't even have to scrub it. It just like, I love this stuff. I have such iron in my water. <laughs> I tried getting my dog like a little dog pool. So I got it for her and we fill it up. Our well water is so horrible. When you fill it up, it's like brown, reddish brown. You can't drink it. Like it's, it's not good. So we have our RO system. I think it's called an RO system, like reverse osmosis maybe. I don't know, RO, is that what it is? I think we just call it RO, so I don't know what that's abbreviated for. It might be reverse osmosis, is it? It filters it down and um, it's like really nice. So if I buy like white shirts, um, they become dingy over time. Like we have white washcloths um, for like washing our face and stuff. Um, they, they're so dingy looking, they look dirty, but they're clean, but even bleach won't get them clean. Like, you know, you have like, they're stained. So this stuff, I'm telling you, you guys, is the best thing ever. It's the Wink Rust Remover. This stuff gets it instantly. You don't have to scrub. You just squirt it on and it goes from like reddish brown to white. And then in our shower, we have those little shower filter heads. I think I've also shown that on my Amazon hauls. So I can also put, I'll link the shower heads that we use to filter just for like my hair. Um, I don't want all of that like icky water getting on my skin when I'm showering. So we do use a special filter on our shower head. We use the special salt in our water softener to try to cut back on it. But sometimes, you know, you still get that buildup over time. So our, our bathtub will kind of get that, like if I don't stay on top of it, if I just kind of like let it go, it can get really orange and like brown. If we fall behind on our salt, it can really get brown and orange. But if you do get any stains, toilet, sink, tub, clothes, like I'll scrub that stain with a scrub brush. I can't get it off. If I'm scrubbing it for like several minutes and then I'll look and it starts to come off, like um, I bet if I just kept going, it will eventually come off, but it's a pain in the butt, okay? Or I can just squirt this on there. You can get like little bottles at Walmart. I've never seen this size bottle at Walmart. I mean, sometimes if you're lucky, you can find it, but out here in small town, Minnesota, you're limited on what you can get. So I order it from Amazon. I can use this stuff and it doesn't like make me sick. Like there's actually like very little smell and I'm kind of like sensitive to smells. Just three beauty things. I've told you guys about this, the Lumify. I love putting this in before I do my makeup, but um, just to make sure my eyes are just nice and bright um, before I apply my makeup when I'm doing like a full look, you know? I use it, I love it. I've been using it for well over a year now, maybe a year and a half. And um, I swear by this stuff. I've got a bottle up here, I've got a bottle downstairs. Scott Barnes, like if you guys ever follow like Scott Barnes, he's like a makeup artist. He has his own makeup line. Um, anytime he starts putting makeup on someone, he always starts with Lumify. So I was like, I'll try it. And I've been hooked ever since. My disposable mascara wands, I love these. If you guys like follow me, you know, like I go through these, I love these. So I'm like a weirdo putting my mascara on. Like I'll put my mascara on and I'll use my disposable brush. Go watch one of my get ready's with me. Like I'll show you, I tell you on there how I, how I use these. 
it says it's black on here. I really, I don't like getting black. Um, I like getting, I really don't care what color, um, as long as the brushes are not black. Like, I like to have a pink one or peach or white, any color but black. Like, because I like, the reason why is because I like to have, I like to be able to see the mascara on because sometimes I'll take my mascara and just add a little bit to the clean disposable one and just hit my lower lashes. So you get 300 of them. They're really inexpensive. I have picked them up from like Shein or Timu. Um, they're very affordable there too. I've tried Amazon's. I've tried theirs. They're identical. I didn't, I wasn't ready to put in a Timu order yet. So, um, I just got them on Amazon and I want to say they're they're really affordable. Free shipping with Amazon, you get it within a couple of days. So that's why I went with the Amazon route. And my cat is now in my box. Here we go. I'm, I've only used this once. I got this the other day from Amazon. So I've seen this thing and the name of it is like really gross, but they call it sludging or slugging sludging or slugging I was like what what'd you call it it's when you sl slather all this stuff on your face yeah you can use Vaseline um, but there's like look it up on like Google it like look into the info versus using va Vaseline Aquaphor or CeraVe um, CeraVe is the better way to go I think um, allergy wise even though they're all three like very like neutral um i can't remember what it was but i looked it up like well why couldn't i just use like vaseline and then reading about it on why this might be better i can't remember what it was but i was sold on it um so i washed my face at night like i do every single night I did my regular skincare routine like I do every single night and then I just added this on top. So I'm gonna see what that does, but I've only tried it the one time. I was a little nervous. I was like, if I wake up and I'm broke out, we're, I, you know, like I'm gonna be calling up this company and being like, excuse me, excuse me, can I see your manager? But anyway, so stay tuned on that. Um, this It's not that crazy price, but what it is, it's the CeraVe Healing Ointment. It says non-greasy feel, protects, soothes, dry, cracked, chafed skin. Skin protectant with ceramides. You guys, I found these things. These are so cute. They're little night lights. You see how little these are? There's four night lights in here. You think, Heather, is there just one night light in there? No, there's four of them in here. You guys have got to see these. They're so cute. They're so perfect. Um, and they're all USB. So if you're traveling, plug it into your power strip cord, wherever they have got that little, right? You got someone in the back seat of your car. You got your little USB port. Plug it in, gives them just a little bit of light traveling in a hotel. I am a get up in the middle of the night pee kind of girl. Okay, I gotta get up in the middle of the night and pee all the time. But I don't wanna flip on a light because then like having a light on like wakes my brain up. So I like to just kind of keep it like, no, just kind of just a little, I just need enough so I can see where I'm going, That that's it. So I don't like to flip on a light in the middle of the night. My brain's like, oh, we're part, we're we're like, we're, we're, we're getting up. I'm like, no, we're just gonna pee. This cute little, very basic, very inexpensive wireless uh, microphone. It does the job. I love that it's wireless. I have a wired one. I've got several different microphones, but um, this one I thought was really cute. I love just it's a clip on. It's wireless. You charge it. It holds the charge for a while. Um, very inexpensive just kind of like your basic little um, microphone and very simple you get this little charging cord that you plug this in and you charge it 
It's got the little clip on it. And then on your phone, you connect that part to your phone. This is needed so your this can find it so they sync to each other and then it's like super simple. It's kind of like your basic little microphone. Again, all of this will be linked below. This is a portable um, video light. Lighting is so key to looking good. That's why photographers, like if you go to a studio where they have models and they're all like, or do you think they just like don't have any light? They're surrounded with bright lights. It blurs, so like you guys, I don't want you guys to think I've got great skin. I don't have great skin. Like it's the bright lights that I have in here. Like I've got a ring light here. I've got two big box lights here. I got some lights here and then I have this to go on my phone if I'm just like cruising around the house and I stumble in some to some bad lighting. I can keep fooling you guys and thinking that I'm I've got great skin. Don't clips onto your phone and it's got a little opening there so your camera you know like can still it's not going to cover your camera up. Right? You got your little light. You're doing your little like, hey guys, what's up? Ooh, I like it. it's got little lights in the back letting you know like how much of your charge you have left. I like that. I hate it when all of a sudden it's just like, yeah, we're done. So you can go up and down with brightness. You can go real bright. Ooh, wow. Or you can bring it down. <laughs> so, okay. I'm one of those people where it's like, let's just start pushing buttons to figure it out versus reading the instructions. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just see what the buttons do. Okay. So you can bring it down from like a bright down to like a dimmable yellow light, maybe candle light type. So that's what the other buttons do. You can either have the light like this or you can go like this and have your little clip go that way also. Another clip, it has that screw on there where you could screw this onto like a tripod if you wanted to have it just be stationary. And like another little clip, you know, three different ways to attach it. I thought that was a great little portable light. I haven't even gotten this out, so I really hope that this is cute. I have not even peeked at it. It, I, it came like three days ago. You guys seen my recent FabFitFun video? I have a video where, my I think it was just my recent one, where one of the things I picked up was like an Ellen Tracy like little wallet that's the RFID um, blocking you know, it's when those people can just go within 10 feet of you and if they have a little device in their pocket or their purse or whatever, um, they can scan your credit cards that are in your pocket or it's in your purse. You don't even have to have your credit card out. Like it's in your wallet. You think it's safe, it's not. They just come within 10 feet of you and they can scan your wallet and pick up all of your credit cards. And then let the nightmare begin because then now they're just charging up your cards and it's a pain in the butt. So this one, I found a cute little wallet. They actually had every color you could think of. So they had something for everyone. And then they had two different styles. So this is the one zipper style and then they had one that had two zippers. I almost got that one, but then I just realized, you know what, I'm gonna be opening one side and then I'm gonna be like, nope, that's not the right side. And then I'll have to open the other one. I'll always open the wrong side. So I went with this one that is just one zipper. And so far it's really cute, I like it. I'll put down below the color that I picked up. Ooh, and then it comes with like a little wristlet where you can like just throw it on your wrist if you want. But it, after I looked at a lot of them and I feel like this one had enough, enough pockets and enough whatever to carry what I needed to carry. So you've got your little pocket there, all your little slots for your cards um, and then extra cards over here and then two compartments and then a zipper pouch for like change. Um, and you can put like a little pen right there, but 
I love my wallet that I have now. I think it's a 31 wallet. Those that know 31, like that brand, 31. Um, I love that wallet. So uh, unless they've come out with an RFID blocking one, I'm going to have to switch to something like this because I'm not about to have my cards stolen. So the next thing I have, it's actually the same thing, and they're the Capri shorts. I'm telling you guys. I bought one. <laughs> actually, it's in the wash now because I've been wearing them for the past three days. They're so comfortable. They're just Capri shorts, okay? Well, I call them shorts. I'm six foot one. So capri pants are actually like long shorts on me. They go past my knee and then that's it. Like we just need to cover the chubby knees and then we're good. They're so, so comfortable. So I bought the black ones. And like I said, I wore them for three days straight. Maybe four. And then it was like, all right, we need to put these guys in the wash. Like we have other clothes to wear. And I needed capris anyway, or shorts, whatever. Um, because the ones that I use now that I just kind of like lounge around in, like who cares what I'm wearing, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I've, they're so old, they're starting to like get holes in places that you shouldn't have holes. You know, where the thighs rub. Try them on, we'll see how well they do, and if I like them, then I'll get another pair. Um, so I grabbed the black ones, loved them, and went back, got another black, got a navy, and then got a gray. I'll pull the gray ones out. I didn't want anything really thick because I hate being warm. Hate it. I'd rather be a little chilly and put a sweater on and be like, ooh, I hate being warm. So you guys, these are, they're just like a nice cotton. They're not thick thick but they're not like super thin like I can't I can I can only see like the light like barely see the light like they're not they're not thin you got a little slit okay you got the drawstring there and it's elastic too true to size like it's true to size um and then you have pockets I need to have pockets but anyway, you guys, I swear by those. Those will also be linked below. I have another hot flash coming on, so I better go. All right, you guys, let's wrap it up here. I always love hanging out with you guys. You know that. Um, we are getting ready for another giveaway. That box is getting full. We're almost there. I will be discreetly announcing it i'm not going to tell you when it's going to happen so make sure you're watching all my videos because you never know when i'm going to announce the next giveaway but it's coming up i'll tell you that because that box is just about full and i think i got all the kinks worked out on how to do a giveaway we've learned from it right those that have been with me for a while you we've been through it we've been through it there's so still a lot to learn <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and sticking out to the end. You guys know I love and appreciate you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!